All right, what's good with y'all? It's your boy T Got Wisdom with another video. You know, I know it's been a little bit since, you know, I've been posting, but I've really been just to myself, working on myself, personal development, and, you know, traveling more and more within to find my, you know, my inner child and to help my inner child grow. And with all these shifts that's going on in the universe, you know, that's all you got to do nowadays. You have to really just focus in on you worry about you because if you don't worry about you then all of this stuff is going to keep happening you'll keep coming back here you'll keep doing the same thing with lack of memorization because you're not taking time to dig within to find your real dna within yourself now i want to tell you all about some of my meditations recently uh some of my meditations recently have actually been quite intense like i've been in different states of mind than i was at the beginning of my journey and y'all can go back in my older videos and actually uh go back to the videos when i talked about my other meditations now my meditations are actually starting to get more and more intense because um you know i'm starting to see i'm i'm, I'm really starting to see that's all I really want to say is I'm starting to see. I don't want to like give it away because I feel like everybody's, you know, meditations are different. But there is a bliss state of mind whenever you're at a state of mind when you're, you know, kind of like moving back and forth. You know, you're going back and forth, moving side to side, Uh, you know you will start to see different shapes and figures form in your meditations. You will start to just see different things. Now, the important thing when that I want to tell y'all, when y'all get into a deep state of meditation, you know, a lot of people are different. Some people will say to focus specifically on your breathing or, you know, focus in on what, you know, something that you want or focus in directly on your thoughts. I'll sit here and say, focus in on your thoughts. Whatever images are popping into your head, you know, you have to remember that meditation helps you with basically getting full control of your emotions and your feelings. So how you feel towards something, you'll be able to control that, right? Because you have to remember that at the end of the day, we're in this world all together. I know there's times when you will feel some type of way about somebody or something but you have to ask yourself because at the end of the day, we're in a, a you know, we're in a human body. We're we're spirit being. We're light being inside of flesh. Basically, you have to ask yourself one day. Question it. This is really what got me to start digging more and more within myself. I started to truly question like who blinks within myself, who makes myself blink who makes myself sneeze, etc. These are real life things that you can ask to get answers from within. You will start to see. And, you know, I started to get real curious in on because that is interesting, right? Think about it. You know, you'll randomly be talking, you just sneeze or you cough or you, you feel me? You, uh, you blink. So, if you dig within yourself, you'll start to realize that the ego that you have or it it really produces um it produces random images and thoughts into your uh into your mind. So you you ever be wondering why sometimes you'll be sitting there and basically you'll get a random memory from the past, something that happened way back in the day, and you feel some type of way about it. You actually get a little pressed about it, right? Don't 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 lie to yourself because I've I've done it. I've been through it. I've experienced it, you know. So I know exactly what that feels like. And I'm telling y'all now, I don't wanna like sit here and go full depths on of what I see in my meditations and everything, because at the end of the day, everybody's meditations is different, you know. It all starts down to, you know, how you present yourself in the meditation. Do you sit down on the floor do you cross your legs do you sit in a chair you know etc do you lay down there's all different ways of meditating that's why i say everybody's meditations is different but there is all states of mind that we can all get to you know 
there's the bliss state. There's different states. You can keep the just dig in deeper and deeper within yourself. There's levels. It all really starts with your diet. Your diet is really, really, really important. I started to cut out, you know, meats, all types of meats out of my life, you know. Oh, you know, I always get questioned. Oh, how are you going to cut out meats out your life when you need it? See, you have to think in the world that we live in right now, a lot of things that are promoted to us that are pushed in our faces and things like that are to keep you at a low vibrational state of being. Because with all these shifts right now, as we're currently speaking, we're going through a fifth, uh, not a fifth, a uh, fourth dimensional change right now. As we're getting closer to uh, around the December area, it's going to start to shift into the full fifth dimensional, uh, the fifth dimensional uh stage in this lifetime and you know i know i take a lot of time away from youtube and social media and all of that because i work on myself but i still feel it's very important for me to get on here and to spread enlightenment and you know wisdom to y'all i feel that's really important because you know i go back and i always look at the comments and everything of how many people actually tapped in and how i uh how many people actually you know, get help off of my videos and stuff. That's what I'm here for. I'm here, you know, to plant a seed in y'all's head for y'all to go and do the inner research yourselves. I'm not sitting here and I'm not telling y'all to forcefully go do this or, you know, if you don't do this, this is gonna happen. Well, actually, I will actually say that if you don't start to get on this now, it will. You will start to feel the full effects when this whole fourth dimensional stage sets in fully. You'll start to feel the full effects. You'll start to feel the full effects from the sun, the vibrational uh, waves from the sun. Everything that I've been talking about in my videos, you'll start to feel. Now, right now is really, 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 really important to, to start, start buckling down on yourself. When it comes to the diet, something that I had to start telling myself, you know, is if I'm not getting energy specifically out of something, now I'm not I'm not observing it. I'm not eating it because if you if you really break this down, if you really break this all the way down, uh history, which I'm not gonna get full in depth one hundred percent in on history right now. I'm not gonna do a whole history lesson, but with melodated people, if you don't know what melodated people is, it's basically the dark skinned people here. It ain't no black and it's not no African American. That's what we got labeled. So with melodated people back then in uh Egyptian time, they didn't have like they didn't have wo uh roo uh roofs over their heads. They didn't have, you know, uh showers and all of that, bro. They didn't have all of that. So with a lot of stuff that is pushed in our faces now, it's, uh, it's things to keep you at a low vibrational state of mind. And you may be wondering why I said showers and stuff. See, now, if you think that these shape-shifting uh, fourth dimensional things could literally just hit us from one side in this reality of life with lies and stuff they're hitting us from everywhere trying to keep you at a low state of mind because let me break it down of what's going to happen basically in the fifth dimensional stage so when everybody is basically born when everybody is basically born here as a as a child as a baby um right off the rips you're hit with you know vaccine shots um, you're not born directly into the sunlight. You're born into a warmer and everything. You're born into a hospital under a roof. Uh, with that being said, uh, that state of being that you are as a kid, that's why kids randomly be talking about they they woke up because they seen something in their room. They go run to they they go run to their parents' room talking about oh I just seen some or something's in my closet or something's under my bed. Bro, when I sit here and tell y'all this, they put things, they specifically put things into TV shows and into movies for reasons, because these are real life things that happen. 
there are dark entities and stuff that are here and you can see some stuff from a whole from something that the one percent eye vision can't just normally pick up this uh, just to keep it that short so say if you ever took psychedelic drugs and you've ever witnessed you know you look you look around and you see something in the sky that you've never seen before or you look down the street and you see some so like a figure like a person or something but in reality there's nobody there that's what i'm talking about kids have that ability see i ain't gonna go into a full debt but that's the reason why kids go missing every single damn year and the shit is never put on the news of how many kids went missing because they drain this energy from the kids so that they can have the energy but let me keep moving on with this real quick because I don't want to make this a super, super long video. But basically, um, with this fifth dimensional stage about to happen, it's about to reset. It's, it's basically allowing you to reset DNA. With that being said, it's from you taking care of yourself, you meditating, you traveling within yourself, you observing uh, you know, sunlight, you going outside, you grounding yourself. It's all on you. It's not on nobody else. It's on you. Because when all of these shifts happen in the universe, you will start to acquire a 100% DNA. Now, if y'all watched my last videos, I talked about it. As of right now, we've, all our life, we've only been uh, programmed to work on a 3 to 5% DNA. Uh, Oh man, Tryon, what do you mean by three to five percent DNA? So if you look at people, for example, like LeBron James or anybody that's in the league, and you think they're big, or you just look at any uh, you know, muscle head, you look at bodybuilders and et cetera, like weightlifters and stuff like that, bro, you think they big? Now, when this shift happens, it's going to allow people to unlock a full 100% DNA. Now, I'm not sitting here saying that everybody's going to get this because it's only the ones that's been taking care of themselves. You can't just expect to get something out of the universe if you wasn't putting in the work yourself. So with that being said, with well, putting in the work yourself, that requires you to tap in with yourself. You to take days to stay inside your room and connect in with yourself. You cutting out, you going within yourself and realizing the things that's programming you even more to stay in this three-dimensional world. Now, when it comes to thing, like when it comes to things uh that can program you to stay in this state of being and not elevate, it's the smallest things that you may not even pay attention to. One thing I want to get into is you know with weed and stuff you know with weed so weed is obviously becoming more and more legal everywhere right weed is becoming more and more legal everywhere so with that being said you have to actually dig in so they know they know that 90 percent of the world probably smokes with that being said that is a good indicator for them that they can move upon something to hurt people even more so oh what do you mean by that Tron? so whenever basically uh you know all this weed is becoming more and more you know legal that means that they're processing this weed they're putting you know making this weed gmo and stuff stuff that can block your third eye stuff that can really block your third eye because what you're trying to get at is that first off if you're going to sleep at night and you're not having dreams and stuff you have to start to look at things like like if you're smoking weed or anything else you have to start to look at if that's harming you and if that may be the reason why you're not dreaming because it's important to dream you you should be able to wake up in the morning and remember your dream and whenever you do wake, uh, wake up Something that I've, I'm, I'm starting to do is to write down my dreams. So I'm becoming more consciously aware of what I'm dreaming because that's like messages. It is messages. Whenever you sleep, yo, 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 inner, 
these, bro. Yo, 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 inner leaves, bro. You feel me? Your soul leaves. So with that being said, it's just like with death. Your flesh stays here. Your soul leaves, bro. You need to heal up your soul and really pay attention to the things that is harming you. Pay attention to the things that is harming you. Because a lot of things is being processed nowadays with GMO, GMO, GMO. Natural apples ain't natural apples no more. You feel me? Things off the trees ain't so natural no more. You feel me? If you really break this down, if you really break this down back then, melodated people didn't even intake. They didn't even intake weed the way that society intakes weed now. It's, uh, you know, they didn't smoke it. They ate it and they let it sit in like edibles over time. And then they experienced it and it was all natural stuff that they grew, etc. With things like this, you have to take this into consideration and actually think, man. Think, think, think. I'm here to only try to help and guide y'all and help to plant seeds in y'all's heads for y'all to take this information and go do uh go do y'all's own inner research. You know, I'm not sitting here and I'm not saying, oh, go do this right now, or like, man, I'm I'm sitting here saying though, get on your shit. Get on your shit, bro. Get on your shit. I ain't gonna force none on you. It all happens whenever you ready. But get on your shit because you want to experience what all the people that's tapped in is going to experience these next months ahead, bro. And this new year ahead, 2021. You feel me? You want to experience that and you want to elevate. You don't want to stay in this same state. But... With that being said, I know this video turned into a bit long, but excuse me. I ain't tripping because you feel me. We going to keep coming with it. And I love to get on here and just talk with y'all, bro. Talk, talk about my experiences and everything because I feel like that just helps y'all to be able to tap in more with yourselves. But Go ahead and leave a like on this video. And I'm not on social medias right now. So if you want to contact me, uh, you can go and look at my profile on YouTube. And you will see my email. And you feel me? You can always comment anything you want me to talk about or any questions you may have. But make sure to smash that like. Subscribe and share this video out to anybody that may need to see it. And it's your boy T Got Wisdom out. Yeah, dude.